Hi all and welcome to my new video related to Bitcoin. This is a special video because it contains my advice to people who are interested in Bitcoin. Let's start. So the disclaimer is always uh, this presentation is for educational purpose only. It is not a financial advice, especially this one. We will see later um, why it's a special one. Bitcoin price at the moment is at 22,000. It's Monday 18th of July and um, it crashed since from 69k in november to 22. now most of the financial world is giving advice against bitcoin something about my experience so in the last uh, 24 months i think considering books videos podcasts and articles i spent between six and eight hundred hours in learning about bitcoin and uh, it's not about crypto in general, not about other projects, but specifically only about Bitcoin. And especially since winter 2020, since when Bitcoin reached a new all-time high, I'm daily following the news daily. And below you can see the 32 books I read related to Bitcoin. People can also think, why so many hours on Bitcoin? Because first it was my passion, I became really fascinated. But also, second is because very complex, very diversified in terms of um, topics. It involves finance, economics, investing, monetary history, human psychology, philosophical politics, history, game theory, complex math, technology, computer science, energy industry. And at least 100 hours of, stu hours of study are required to appreciate it and many more to fully understand it. Barely no one did this effort or is doing this effort because it looks like that everyone is too busy with something else. Really a pity because I always recommend if you are interested to spend time in learning about such a fascinating topic. Let's start uh, with uh, my uh, the topic um, I want to discuss. So firstly, if you are interested in Bitcoin and you, ha you are having doubts, it's per perfectly fine. That's the normal. Um, generally, people who are in just interested in Bitcoin, they hear what the common narrative, what the average person is saying, uh, both normal and also in the financial world. And at the moment, uh, majority is skeptical, first because of the crash and because secondly, because there are so many misconceptions in the common narrative so far. Until when a, a person didn't spend 100 hours in learning about Bitcoin, in my opinion, is an uneducated opinion. The problem is many people, they read articles, they spend a few hours and they're against Bitcoin and they think their opinion counts. Yeah, for sure, everyone can have an opinion. But in the opinion of a, a person who understand, who understood Bitcoin because of all the time spent in learning about Bitcoin, this opinion should just be ignored because it's an uneducated opinion. And on this purpose, uh, I made a video. It will be released the 26th of uh, July. Now it's the 18th of July, but if you watch this video later, uh, it will be already available, where I list all the, the best material uh, to learn about Bitcoin. Uh, one way will be to start with uh, my videos, and, and but this is to um, make you curious and interested even more, and then you need to do the work. You need to spend at least 100 hours. And I list there about, there are, I think, 8 books, 12, 13 articles, and 8 videos. That's uh, what I showing you the way and the third advice is to ignore those who are against bitcoin in the past i also was maybe one probably so my mistake i was debating with everyone on bitcoin also with those who were against or were very skeptics i was thinking that with everyone regardless how much they are skeptic or not or against if providing enough information and then the person will change his mind. The information that shows that this person needs to learn more and need to be need to gain more education on Bitcoin. Uh, but I realized that uh, once a person is against or very very skeptical on, on something, it's very hard or almost impossible to make him uh, changing his or her mind. Since few weeks, in fact, I definitely stopped to discuss with them. For me, it's not any more worth the time. Most of the problem was like frustration uh, because. Uh, it was just uh, then the kind of waste of time for both. No one changed his mind, uh, and uh, I think um, it is not worth the time. And therefore, I have more time to create videos, to create content, and to educate people who are interested in Bitcoin. 
so in fact uh, understanding to why they're thinking that most are uh, still uh, um, not understanding because understanding new technologies is is very hard and it happens with many technologies you can see here 1900 the measure of paris said that after the fur is over this fault of electricity will be forgotten as quickly as the lights turn off 1903 president of michigan savings bank the horse is here to stay but the automobile is only a novelty a fact um, 1998 paul krugman nobel prize wing economist and new york times economist he said by 2005 so in seven years from 1998 and it was already windows in 98 so in, by 2005 or so it will become clear that the internet's impact on the economy has been no greater than the fax machine and in reality we see that now we use electricity every day that we use the car every day we don't use the horse anymore and that uh, internet had a much higher impact than the fax machine and now people think but how it can be and these people were among the smartest people of their generation the measure of paris president of a bank nobel prize winning how could be that they miss to understand something so easy well it is easy because now the technology is already um, mature but every new technology at the beginning there are always a lot of fraud fraud a lot of misinformation misleading information and generally it is hard to understand new technology regardless how smart the people are here there are three perfect examples and on that i also made two videos in april uh, related to the difficulty in understanding new technology exactly taking as example in the first the automobile and in the second electricity i recommend you to watch both of them in case you are interested to gain more knowledge on this topic the misconception to ignore so i rec my recommendation is to um, ignore anyone who is doing the following while discussing about bitcoin focusing on the actual crash and the short-term price instead of the long-term price of bitcoin for years moving average all the bitcoiners are saying that bitcoin is a very good financial asset in the long term with at least a time frame of four years so if it crashed since last year for a bitcoiner they just buy more they are not scared because they are thinking in the long term if you see a person who is criticizing Bitcoin, focusing on the crash because it's too volatile, ignore him. He has not enough understanding on Bitcoin. The second, uh, I see really often that uh, often that uh, they are mixing Bitcoin and crypto. And here, one thing is the correlation of the market. We can see that, uh, for example, the, the meltdown of Terra Luna. Now the exchanges who went insolvent had an impact on Bitcoin price. So crypto and Bitcoin world, yes, are correlated in terms of impact, but in terms of mission of the future and the difference between them, it is there are two different worlds. On one side there is Bitcoin, on the other side there is any other coins. If you, when you listen to someone or you read something and they, you see that they mix them in the future, this person has a poor education on Bitcoin. So my recommendation is to ignore him or her. Secondly, if a person is making one of these statements or uh, listing one of these, any of these as reason to be against Bitcoin, my recommendation is again, just ignore him because of lack of education. The reason, the reasons will be Bitcoin is, Bitcoin is too volatile, it's too risky, it's not baked by anything, has no intrinsic value, um, is used by criminals, is used by, to buy drugs. The financial world is still skeptical about Bitcoin. Bitcoin mining consumes too much energy. Bitcoin mining is bad for the environment. The average cost of transaction in electricity is XXX, whatever price. Bitcoin mining should move to proof of stake. Bitcoin doesn't produce anything. Bitcoin is not an inflation edge as it was planned to be. Therefore, its monetary proposition failed. Bitcoin is too volatile and it will never be used as a medium of exchange. Bitcoin is a Ponzi scheme. And last one, Bitcoin has no industrial value as gold has. One thing, as I said, one thing is the, the mindset is really important to have some doubt, to be interested in Bitcoin, but I have one of these doubts. And that's fine if you didn't start enough. But secondly, uh, if you see a person make the statement against Bitcoin, because of one of these, my recommendation is just ignore him. Why there are so many misconceptions? Uh, for, first, what well, I said, because every new technology at the beginning, there is a lot of uh, misconception, but uh, there are mostly four. 
attacks, firstly because people started to learn about Bitcoin with prejudice, becoming against Bitcoin or very skeptic. Most of the people in the financial world, they saw Bitcoin like a kind of an enemy or something strange, like a, a bunch of nerds were telling them, oh, that's the new form of money. They, they uh, Inside them, they, they think, oh, it cannot be possible and so on. So they learn about Bitcoin already with prejudice. And for them, it's very hard then to really understand it because you should learn about Bitcoin from scratch, like you should learn about the history of money, but also give Bitcoin a chance uh, to understand him in a positive way. Another reason is many, especially many people in finance are lying because of personal interest in seeing Bitcoin fail. Because uh, uh, Bitcoin uh, is for the separation of money and state, and he's saying we will flourish as society if we separate the money from the state. And if people have interest that the state is keeping use, uh, creating money and so on, it will be naturally against because Bitcoin, they will see Bitcoin as an enemy. Third, and this is the most important, most the biggest one is lack of education. So they didn't spend enough one and enough hours, especially 100 hours they are required. And the fourth, it will be IQ too low to understand um, Bitcoin because uh, it's very complex and you need uh, to have knowledge of several topics and this Bitcoin is not for everyone. Another statement I, he I hear at least is not for, any for everyone, I would say now, because then the internet was for everyone, but understanding the internet in the 90s was not for everyone. The statement is also higher so much I put it here, 90% plus of the financial world or the vast majority of the financial world is still skeptical about Bitcoin. My reply will always be, regardless of how much they, these people are experts in the financial world and how many credentials they have, even if they write for Wall Street Journal, Forbes, Bloomberg, New York Times or World Economic Forum, in case they use one of the arguments in the previous page to be against Bitcoin, ignore them because they didn't understand Bitcoin for one of these four, uh, for one of the reasons above. And on this, I also made especially a video the 5th of July, why the financial world is still skeptical about Bitcoin. I listed five reasons. I recommend you to watch it in case you are interested. And to debunk the misconceptions, I also made uh, several videos, I think 18, to debunk 20 misconceptions and they are similar to the one I listed before so if you have doubt as again is normal uh, for any of them if you are interested in Bitcoin but also you think one of these because it is what you heard from other people and people you trust um, please watch the video related the video will help you to understand that it's just an or a misconception or it is a misleading topic these are the first 10 and these are the other 10. I will not go into details, uh, but uh, to show that the videos are available, please, in case you are interested, spend time in understanding that these are only misconceptions. My recommendations. In, so in, as I said, just said, in case you have doubts about one or more misconceptions I listed, watch the videos. On Bitcoin, in your everyone who is using any of the arguments show it before, catalog them in your mind, lack of education on Bitcoin, and simply forget anything they say about Bitcoin. Once you do this, so you list you watch the video to debunk the statement, at least to put in doubt that it's a misalignment or it's a misconception, then you ignore the people who tell this misconception, then you need to start to learn about Bitcoin. And you can use the material shared in the videos I showed. Um, early and also some other videos I will show later but this is to make you curious more to make you more curious about Bitcoin and then plan three five or eight or ten hours per week where you focus on studying Bitcoin a very complex but also very fascinating topic so Bitcoin is hard if you but if you first if you are interested if you are not interested let's say this video is not for you <laughs> but if you are interested I recommend you to plan time to learn about Bitcoin. I show in the video that I will publish the 26th of July 100 hours of material to learn about Bitcoin. You can use this material. 
And also the, my most important videos related to education or general education is the video that will be released on Sunday, 24th of July, Bitcoin as technological and financial leap forward for humanity. And then six videos for the monetary value proposition of Bitcoin, because the monet understanding which is the problem and which is the, why Bitcoin is the solution from monetary perspective is the big, most important thing on Bitcoin. You will not understand Bitcoin or blockchain in case you don't understand which is the problem that Bitcoin is trying to solve. Then there is also a video one hour long for regard related to the blockchain. And on that uh, is a very com a quite complex video for people who don't have so much knowledge. Therefore, I also decided to make uh, 15 videos that are coming in August. I'm working on them. And the last one is energy consumption, Bitcoin and energy consumption. Because I believe that the two biggest misconceptions that will be the hardest, but the most important to the bank are Bitcoin is bad for the environment, Bitcoin consumes too much energy. They are both false and I made a 67 minutes in order to debunk them. It took time because it's a complex topic. And if you don't learn all of the information, it's hard for you to understand that is, uh, the misconceptions are really mis just misconceptions. In uh, Actually, Bitcoin is good for the society, Bitcoin will help to fight the climate change. My recommendation till when the study should go on. I think you sh it depends on you how much time you spend per week, uh, which previous knowledge you already have about finance, about technology, about computer science. Actually, you don't need so much for computer science, but you need complex math and technology, this is for sure, and energy industry. Until you understand the following, you should learn from me. Until you understand that Bitcoin is a technological and financial leap forward for humanity and that Bitcoin is the biggest engineering monetary revolution of human history. And it contains three breakthroughs in one. Firstly, monetary proposition with its absolute scarcity and its properties that make it a perfect asset to be saleable across time, space and scale. Bitcoin is the best form of money, form of money we have ever had a breakthrough in monetary history first. Second, technological proposition. With the Bitcoin blockchain, we can finally send value digitally without the need of a central authority, a technological breakthrough. And third, energy proposition. Bitcoin mining is the only technology that can make use of excess of energy, surplus of energy and stranded energy, all renewable. And Bitcoin, furthermore, will mining will help to fight the climate change. This is a, a breakthrough in the energy industry. Many people ask, yes, okay, one education, but about investment, investment will come with education. And generally, the percentage of portfolio invested in Bitcoin should be directly related with the level of education on Bitcoin. You and only you should decide how much percentage of, it, uh, of your portfolio should be invested in Bitcoin. But what I guarantee you, the more you understand Bitcoin, the higher will be this percentage. And it's important that it's related to your education because we saw now in the last six months, if someone invested, uh, they were overexposed related to their conviction and the conviction is directly related to the education. Bitcoin price crashed and the people who with no education or with poor education, they just sold. While Bitcoiners are uh, they didn't sell their holding and even more, they are just buying more because they understood Bitcoin. That's not a financial advice, it's just a personal opinion. Everyone is fully responsible of how he's best his money. And also a very important thing, if you reach the level of understanding Bitcoin, you will not think anymore to invest in Bitcoin, but to save in Bitcoin. If you hear someone that is saying that he's saving in Bitcoin, well, this person understood Bitcoin. Why the focus on studying Bitcoin? Firstly, because it's giving extra time to understand it. Also, this crash uh, to 20K to 17.8K was not really expected. Experts were expecting maybe 38 or 20, 30 or 28, as we saw last year in July, June, July. But till 20K, it was, or till 17.8K, it was not expected. But also we had problem with the uh, central exchange, with coins like Terra Luna, stablecoin that had a bad impact on the old Bitcoin uh, uh, um, market. But nothing happened to the monetary value proposition or to the Bitcoin blockchain. Every 10 minutes, there is a new block with new transaction. Then, second, Bitcoin is the best form of money and it is on the way 
to become the worldwide store of value. To me, to state this is like to state that 2 plus 2 equal 4. And this is one other reason why I don't want to um, debate with someone who is not agreeing with this, because uh, would you argue with someone who is saying that 2 plus 2 is different than 4? You will just ignore him. Uh, and I'm sure I'm saying that it's the best form of money and it is on the way to become the worldwide store of value. If it becomes medium of exchange in the Western world, that is an open topic we cannot discuss here. Third, it is the best financial asset a person can own in the long term. Again, it is a personal opinion, it's not a financial advice. Uh, I believe that uh, somewhere in the future, 2022, 23, 24, a new bull run will start, probably with a new catalyst that it could be more regulations, Bitcoin spot CTF in the US, that for me is the big, will be the biggest catalyst, or a middle-sized country like Mexico or Turkey making Bitcoin a legal tender, or one of or more big companies like Amazon, Apple, Google, Microsoft putting Bitcoin in the by their balance sheet, or a company like Apple or Amazon accepting Bitcoin as a mode of payment. And then another reason more and more people are understanding bitcoin once you understood bitcoin there is no way to go back and uh, who has understood it is not selling and is even buying more and furthermore every bitcoiner is advertising bitcoin amongst, among his her contacts and not is advertising mostly as i'm doing here in this video to involve other people to study bitcoin no one should invest this money because a person is saying okay you should invest bitcoin People should study Bitcoin, and if they think that it makes sense, then they would invest their money in Bitcoin. But it's 100% their choice, and they should not follow the advice of anyone else. Fifth, and this is very important, this is also another personal opinion, not financial advice. Once the next bull run will start, it will include countries. The next bull run will include countries, big companies, institutional investors, and retail investors. It will be very, very powerful also due to the programmatic scarcity of Bitcoin. Why I'm saying this? Because for any, any asset, if you increase demand, the price increase, and then also the supply will increase to accommodate the new demand and bringing down the price. But Bitcoin is scarce as programmed scarcity. At the moment, already 90.9% 90 90 of Bitcoin are already mined. It remains just 9.1%. And they, they cannot never be more than 21 million of Bitcoin. At the moment, they are a bit more than 19 million. They, it is said uh, that 4 or 5 million are already lost. So it, let's say that we have 15 million Bitcoin available and 2 million still to be mined. Well, there are 56 million millionaires in the world and uh, we are 7.8 billion people in the world. There is There are not enough Bitcoin for each millionaire. Once the world will understand more, then it could be that there will be a bull run. And uh, if there is no million, uh, there is not enough Bitcoin for a millionaire. Well, the, if the price demand increase, then uh, supply cannot increase more than the programmers can see. The only thing that can increase will be the price till when the demand is satisfied. But demand can also bring more demand. So we can have next year, two years, three years, a big bull run. Very powerful. And what uh, I believe is Bitcoin will reach a price between 500k and 1 million by the end of the decade, by 2030. Why 500k? Because it's more or less the market value of gold. I am saying that Bitcoin will become the worldwide store of value and they will start for sure taking the market of gold because generally we always had only one sort of value for thousands of years was gold now bitcoin is much better than gold so it will be bitcoin and it can reach even more because uh, bitcoin will not just store of value is the best form of money we have ever had so it also it could be that the stock portion of the stock market real estate bond will all will move and w into bitcoin and we will see a big inflow of money into bitcoin and without adequate knowledge people will miss it or will not benefit enough from it so if you didn't study up front and there is this powerful bull run you will still you will still uh, be will you will be shocked you will don't you will not know what to do and you will not invest so much money you will think oh maybe i wait that the market is going down but it can be that the market will not go down it can be that the market will just go up if the 
the big de the new demand will be huge and as i said it can be that institutional investor imagine companies big companies some countries institutional investor and retail investor investing all in a short term uh, short time frame the price we will have a massive bull run and if you didn't study you didn't prepare your position during this bear market during the time the bitcoin price is low you will be likely miss the next bull run in uh, 2026 2028 i expect everyone except the bitcoiners people who understood bitcoin will regret not to not have bought enough bitcoin in 2022 in 2024 why bitcoin i will not regret because we are already have the feeling to not to have enough bitcoin even if a good portion of our portfolio is bitcoin so we will not regret and it's not the same as regretting uh, five years ago to not have bought bitcoin because in 2014 15 16 it was a very niche thing only for elite a lead group of maybe somewhere in computer science or daily knowledge in technology but most of the people didn't know or bitcoin was an early stage it was much more risky than now now there are people who are saying since last year or since 2020 bitcoin is the best form of money it's a good investment in the long term and i believe you should um, hear them and also people are so much pushy on bitcoin because it's not just because of money because we th being the best form of money they will our society will flourish we can um, go forward as a society only if we have better money and we separate money from uh, state so that's also why bitcoiners are so much uh, focused on discussing and advertising bitcoin because they really also they really believe that bitcoin it will be very good for our society it will be like a new renaissance we are at the end of the video so in conclusion the recommendation is uh, studying bitcoin and ignore whoever is speaking against it for the reasons i listed earlier this is my opinion and again it's not a financial advice it's up to you how much money you want to invest in bitcoin and to follow or disregard my opinion that's completely up to you in case you decide to follow it welcome on board and uh, understanding and learning about bitcoin is a long fascinating and fascinating journey many thanks and uh, see you in one of my next videos